Christmas time and the holidays really can be fun. You've got the family get togethers, the parties, but the holidays can also feel pretty lonely and we want you to know that you are seen and heard if that is how you are feeling this year. The National Alliance on Mental Health says 64% of people with mental illness say their condition does get worse around the holidays. And folks, it can really be anything that maybe you're not feeling so great about. You might be stressed about money this year or feeling lonely or isolated. Now those are the feelings that mental health experts say you need to watch out for, especially if you're turning to or relying on on drugs or alcohol to cope. Now we talked to several local mental health professionals. They say right now it's especially important to reach out for help if you need it. That can be something like talking to a friend or calling a local doctor's office or even a 24 seven hotline. And the 988 crisis line is called a crisis line, but it's not just for those crisis moments. It's really there for anyone who just needs someone to talk to. I think that's more common than than you think. You know, we look around and everywhere looks like you said, merry and bright and full of joy. But I think that there are a lot of folks who really struggle during this time. It is just as important. Um, our mental and emotional health affects all the other aspects of our wellness too. So every piece of of our well being is all intertwined. And so if we're not doing well emotionally and mentally and and how is that going to affect our physical health? How is that going to affect how we're showing up for our family? McCready says putting yourself first can feel overwhelming, especially during the Christmas season, but she says not addressing how you're feeling can snowball and then become a bigger problem down the road. I think sometimes people are concerned about bringing that up because they don't want to bring everyone down. Um, but letting people know, hey, I'm having a hard time and following that up with um, trying to let them know what it is that you need. So I'm having a hard time and I, just, I think I need to be around people. Can I come early to the party and help you set up? Every health professional we talk to says reaching out for help is one of the best things you can do to help your mental and emotional state. Now we know though that that can be hard to do for our veterans who have always put others first, but the Department of Veterans Affairs says Christmas time can sometimes trigger PTSD. It won't necessarily take away all loneliness because sometimes loneliness is, is just a internal sense of, of being um, and, and we can work on that. That crisis line is 988. We did mention it a little bit earlier and you can call or text it 24 seven 365. So that means even on Christmas Day, if you're just not feeling great about the holidays, the Marion VA says treating your mental health is as important as checking your blood pressure. They matter. That's what that's what's important is that whatever you feel you matter, you matter to us and you matter to other people out there and you matter to your brothers and sisters in arms. So folks, please don't hesitate to ask for help if you need it. It is okay not to be okay, even at Christmas time. If you're having a mental health emergency, you can go to a local ER and they'll know how to help you. Again, there are also those hotlines you can call or text if you need someone. We will have an entire list of numbers that you can call on our website later tonight. That of course is WSILTV.com.